What is up, YouTube? So National Signing Day 2020 has all but concluded, and uh, let me tell you, man, them balls, you know, finish strong, man. We hit five for five during the early signing day on our on our targets, on our main targets that we had a real shot at going into the day. And today we had a shot at Malachi Weidman and D Beckwith, and we went two for two on those guys. Um, and couldn't be happier about it. I think if you look at what we have in that receiving room, and just in this class, I mean, I don't know, you know, I'm not a historian, but this, in my opinion, may be the best receiving class of all time. I mean, I don't know. You guys can fact check me there. But, I mean, you look at the variety, okay? You got a guy like, like Jalen Hyatt, okay? He's your, he's your Ted Ginn Jr. type guy, your speed guy. I think he's a little bit more of a polished receiver than Ted Ginn. Got the speed. Got the route running, got the toughness, and can go up and make tough catches when he needs to. Baller. Okay, and he's a winner. What did he win, like three or four state, uh, state championships in high school? Kid's a winner, and he had a uh, huge part to play in those games. Um, you look at Jimmy Calloway. Okay, he's more of your six feet, 205, 210. You know, your, your thicker bodied guy, almost like a running back playing wide receiver, but can go up high point the ball, aggressive, um, yards after catch. Make tough catches over the middle, almost an Antoine Bolden esque type guy. I mean, has all the tools you could ever want. Trick plays, kick and throw, played quarterback in high school, can do it all for you. Then you look at the two guys we had today. D Beckwith. Okay, this guy's what, 6'5, about 220. Can run, strong, physical, can high point, get the ball in his hands so he can take it the distance. I mean, kick and do it all for you. Um, baller, absolute baller. Look at Malachi Weidman. A guy that I've said is very Justin Hunter-esque to me. Reminds me a lot of Justin Hunter on film. Has tremendous leaping ability. Tremendous body control. Can go up, can high point the ball. Um, has speed. I mean, when you when you think about those four guys and all the different elements that they bring to the game. Um, I mean, that's a phenomenal receiving core. And you know what? Hey, we're going to be hard-pressed to keep any of those guys off the field. Okay. You gotta remember, hey, we're returning Ramel Keaton, Jordan Palmer, uh, Brandon Johnson's gonna be back, uh, Cedric Tillman, or not Cedric Tillman, what's his name? Yeah, Cedric Tillman, I think his name. No, not Cedric Tillman, what's his name? Yeah, Cedric Tillman, Cedric Tillman. Um, you know, so we, we got some guys already. Now we're bringing in some more guys. Okay, and here's here's the really exciting part about that for me. You guys have any idea what that does? You guys remember a guy, a guy by the name of D'Angelo Gibbs? Got moved to wide receiver last season. Played a little bit of safety too in the spring. Moving to wide receiver though. Um, you know, as the season got got closer. What happens to him now? Does he go back to safety? Is he going to be our starting safety next to uh, Tank McCullough now? The possibilities are endless, and I think that that right there alone makes our defense that much better. We talk. Hey, I've come here before. I've talked about how good our defense is going to be next season. It's going to be phenomenal. If you add in D'Angelo Gibbs as a, as an other safety. Forget about it, dude. I mean, we have way more talent than I can ever remember us having in a long, long time. Okay? I mean, the talent we have is through the roof. Through the freaking roof. And so, I'm excited about it. I think we have a chance to have a really big season. We'll see how much these true freshmen are really able to impact next season. I mean, I think they could really come in. I feel like the good bulk of them can come in and really make a difference year one. Um, I mean, the depth we have is amazing compared to where we've come from. And I mean, I'm excited about it. Excited about what our, what that offense can be with Harrison Bailey slinging the pick skin. And then those four receivers we just added. I mean, with the running backs we've added. If we mess around and add Zach Evans, I mean, guys, come on, you kidding me? Forget about it, dude. So, you know, hey, that's not good about the O-line we've talked about, guys we've added this off season. And I mean, it's gonna be a big, big year, I think. Um, I mean, I'm really excited about those receivers we had today. I really am. Our offense has a chance to be really, really special. You look at like how Alabama's built. When they had Judy, they had Ruggs, they had uh, Devontae Smith. You know, they had three or four guys that were absolutely elite. Uh, Waddle, you know what I mean? Absolutely elite. I think we have a similar build, but we have a little bit more diversity in terms of having guys like Malachi Weidman, D. Beckwith, that can go up and can high point go up in high point you know not just the speed guys that run past you we got those guys too but we got those red zone guys um you know those possession receiver guys if they need to be we got those type of guys so that offense should be superb 
And I, mean, I just couldn't be more excited about it, man. I just wanted to check in with you guys. Let us know how excited I am about the way we finish this class and what I'm thinking that that means for D'Angelo Gibbs potentially moving back to safety. No one's talking about it yet, but I think that's a realistic possibility. And I think it'll be a beautiful thing if it does happen. I think he's an all-world safety. Um, we'd love to see him out there. I remember watching him play in the state championship game. He played for Grayson down here in Georgia. I um, forget what year it was. But um, I didn't know he was at the time. I think he wore like number eight or something. I just kept saying, man, number eight's a ball. I knew nothing about him. Watched the game. Kept seeing number eight flash, make every tackle. Had like two or three picks that game. I mean, who the heck is this kid? And then sure enough, a couple years later, he's, he's wearing the orange and white. And uh, couldn't be happier about it. We'd love to see him back on that defensive side of the ball. I think this defense is going to be nasty. Offense may be even nastier. It's just it's unreal what we're, what we're building there. Um, but, yeah, man, that's my that that's my thoughts on signing day and how this class finished up. We'll see if we finish up with the big splash and Zach Evans. Who knows? To be determined. But awesome, awesome job by Pruitt and his staff going out, filling needs. We were feeling like we were going to be down at receiver okay, this next season, losing Callaway and Jennings. I think now all of a sudden, um, you know, we, we freaking overcompensated for it. And now we've we built the cupboard back bigger and stronger than it's been in a long, long time. So excited about 2020. Let me know your thoughts below. How do you guys feel about this class? Who's your favorite signee? Um, for me, favorite signee, man, it's a tough one. Um, probably got to think about it a little bit. I like Beckwith. I like Malachi. Um, I like Jalen Hyatt. I like Harrison Bailey, of course. Uh, I like Reginald Perry, as, as, as odd as that is. Um, I like Dominic Bailey. I like Amari Thomas. I mean, I like all those guys. You know, I like Bryson Eason. I like Frenchie. Um, I like Tamarian. You know, my favorite guy probably, <clears throat> a guy that I don't feel like he's getting enough attention, <clears throat> even though he's a highly rated guy. I think he's our highest rated recruit, uh, Keyshawn Lawrence. I mean, tell me, tell me. hey, this guy here, and I was talking about uh, D'Angelo Gibbs playing safety. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be able yeah, to keep Keyshawn Lawrence off the field. I mean, we got so much talent. Keyshawn Lawrence is a guy I think is going to be all world. I think he comes in as a true freshman and immediately is impactful. He's a true freshman. I mean, I think he's all world. He's underrated. Should have been a five star, in my opinion. He has all the tools. He has the right mindset, the right attitude, the confidence. He's got it all. I mean, I'm, I mean, I, you know, hey, like I said, we got more depth than we've had in a long, long time. Um, but I'd probably say Keyshawn Lawrence. Probably for me, is going to be my favorite guy heading to this, uh, or favorite guy from this class. So let me know your thoughts below, man. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.